Hi, CC Lee here. Today I would like to share with you how you convert the 4 to 20 milliamp data or any data coming from the analog input module or any RTU or any other instrument, you know, the 4 to 20 milliamp. But you in the Tesla SCADA, you want to convert it to a, 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 a engineering value or something value that represents the actual data of uh, 4 to 20 milliamp. For example, you may have uh, something like a uh, 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 level, uh, pressure, or some uh, gauge, uh, which is uh, giving you a 4 to 20 milliamp. Then you, you need a engineering value. You know, how are you going to do that in the Tesla SCADA? Okay, so the equipment setup uh, for today is uh, you may have uh, one of the Tesla SCADA running on the Exxon Tech HMI or you will have you be uh, running on another PC yeah so you for this case uh, this uh, session is actually a uh, specially recorded for one of our customers uh, so uh, they are using a Y7504 or you can use a 7526 or even any other analog input module from ICP does you know for example M uh, M is a uh, uh, RS-485 of course you, if you're talking about Ethernet you can have a uh, uh, ET7019 and so on yeah so let's start to show how you can use a Tesla to do that in the Tesla SCADA uh, so uh, most important thing when your data is coming in you have uh, this uh, so-called uh, server, you know, server. So you can, in fact, uh, you can, for example, a Mobus TCP device. You know, you can add on whatever uh, 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 what they call the, the IP address, a port number, and what are the how many uh, ad, uh, register that you want to pull from the device. And you can you can do that, but. For this case, what I'm going to do is uh, we have this. Um, uh, we just use a simulated uh, simulation tag. You know, for example, here we have this. Uh, for example, for this uh, special customer of us, uh, they using. Uh, they want to detect the diesel level, uh, diesel level input. You know, this is raw value, uh, diesel level input EU. That is actually a converted value, which is uh, actually an engineering value based on their table okay so for this case we only do up to a, a, a decimal we, we don't do any decimal point so we just uh, based on the integer you know so in this case what we can do is uh, for this uh, uh, diesel level I declare as a double 64-bit uh, integer and then it's a read write function okay this is how I configure the tag okay in here for example uh, you want to do some logging or you want to do some trending you can enable but for this case I'm not using anything so just leave it there so and then another tag is that will be my converted uh, uh, value tag that will be stored here okay so in this uh, 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 tag uh, we uh, is exactly the same you know uh, I don't do, do I don't need to do any scaling you know but enable this one just to show on this uh, training chart yeah for this uh, uh, monitored uh, attack so I have another simulation AI which is not used at all so we just play around with these two uh, attack you know so this part will be simulating the raw data coming from your uh, 70, uh, 7504 or 7526 so from there you can capture the data it's a 4 to 20 milliamp so what you do is uh, in this tag, you can go to this uh, tag property. Okay, uh, not a tag property. Sorry. So uh, with this, the two tag is being declared. So you can uh, use this uh, analog input uh, raw value, which I'm using this uh, uh, display panel or L L this LED panel to to show the value. Okay, this is to show the value on the raw value, and then I'm using this one to simulate the uh, analog input value uh, from 4 milliamp to to uh, 20 milliamp. 
So in this case, I'm using 4,000 to uh, 20,000. This is where most, most of the ICP does product, it will, it will, when you give you the data, it will give you in this uh, format, you know, 4,000 to 20,000. Basically, when you set to uh, 4 to 20 milliamp uh, input uh, level. Okay, so that part is done. So with this one, I'm going to do a uh, tank level, you know, based on the, uh, the filling is based on the D, uh, diesel level unit, uh, EU. That means it's an engineering unit, it's converted uh, unit. Okay, so that is done. In order to do this part, you need to have this uh, scripting here. This scripting is a very simple scripting that you can do. Uh, just open up this one. So first of all, uh, you have to uh, declare. Okay, these are the declaration. This uh, scripting is based on the structure text, you know, which is uh, commonly used in uh, PLC programming, especially the IEC six one one three dash six that kind of languages. You know, one of them is a structure text. So with this structure text, what you can do is uh, for this case, you know, the we have declared the long integer and then I declare a value and I, I actually put a value you know to the uh, text D level input D level input is actually uh, D level input is actually this you know the, 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 this, this part is also coming from here so uh, okay wait we are going back I'm coming back to here again. So D level, you know, if you can remember, this is a one of the formula. Okay, why equal to A max plus C? You know, that is to to, to plot actually those the, to 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 plot the scaling. You know, and you want to map from uh, four to twenty milliamp to any value that uh, is uh, already defined. For example, your uh, for this case the diesel. Diesel value, uh, this this diesel level tank tank level is uh, zero, four milliamp is equal to zero meter, uh, zero cm, so uh, twenty milliamp is equal to two one three cm, you know. So you can use this formula. I won't explain in detail, but you can refer that late later, you know. So the tank D level input underscore EU EU is uh, whatever value that I want to convert. I will put into the D level uh, 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 level. So the print value, this one is for debugging. You know when uh, uh, when we do this one, you can do the debugging. You can print it out. You know, for example, I run. You know I can see. You know in fact, uh, eleven point two milliamp. You know about eleven point two milliamp. You will have uh, uh, ninety six, and the value is ninety six. You know you can check later. You know how accurate. Or you want to do the decimal one also you are able to do that okay so let's uh, go to the screen again then I'll just uh, start you just simulate in the Tesla SCADA IDE mode okay so I will set to 4001 4001 in fact is a 440 uh, is it 4000 4, now okay so when you set to 4000 the level here is at 0 meter uh, 0 cm okay so and I've set to 12000 almost 12000 you can see it's a 106 cm so if I set full you know it will be 212 you know in this case let's say I put to uh, 20000 it will be 213 okay this is how the whole thing works in here I can set the tank you know this tank is actually uh, 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 simulated you know uh, already animated to this uh, 0 to 213 and then this uh, lower part is actually showing the uh, converted value and then these are the trend chart that is being uh, plotted here is based on the engineering unit okay so this part you can uh, realize using the uh, Tesla SCADA IDE. At the same time, if let's say you want to put it to a runtime. Okay, this is a lot runtime. You know, I've loaded, so I test run again. This is actually running in a runtime. Yeah, 
so it's doing the same exactly the same thing again here okay so I hope you can uh, realize from how you can convert the 4 to 20 million to, to this uh, the level that you want the engineering level that you want so so with that uh, thank you very much uh, before I, I just uh, before I just uh, before I end this one I will just uh, want to show you again raw analog input mo module uh, raw input uh, value then what you do is apply scripting and then plus you display that on the screen you know with that you can manipulate your data further to, to achieve other tasks that you want okay thank you